Okay, so today we look at another new weapon, this one bearing the same name as a classic Borderlands SMG. It's called the Sandhawk, and well, I actually don't know what to think about this thing. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and today I'll bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So the Sandhawk is a new sniper to the game which arrived with Mayhem 2.0 and drops on Mayhem 6 or above from Kasagawa Jr. upon Atlas HQ. I will state that for me, this thing just didn't want to drop. I farmed him for literally 4 hours straight and only saw 3 variants of this. Luckily my pal sent me the variant we can see within this video, the best version which I am actually testing and reviewing, so credit to Baron Von Mitch for helping me out there. Now this dull Sandhawk sniper can drop offering all elements and is very powerful. This variant isn't the highest I've seen at just over 7k times 9 which is still very decent in at about 65k ish damage and on that test dummy I was pulling numbers in the millions. Also coming with the option to change its sight and firing mores between full auto burst and other variants offering semi auto 2 and we see it fires and consumes 2 ammo per shot but shoots out 9 projectiles which do travel at an average speed, slow for a sniper. Now this weapon is super powerful that can't be mistaken but and this is an issue I have had with many snipers in the past and that is how quick this thing consumes that ammo. Yes they buffed this slightly with the latest patch but for a weapon like this which consumes ammo at a rate it does which is why it's got a decent DPS it just isn't efficient enough in my opinion to be a contender for general usage. And worse than its ammo consumption are those slow firing projectiles. Yes this can be buffed via skills on mods and artifacts and so much more but without those trying to use this thing like a sniper should be used is kind of difficult because by the time those shots have reached the target 9 times out of 10 the target has moved unless it is a giant boss and then you'll say or someone else will say it's probably not made to be used at a long range try it at a close range this is my point people I mean you can see me using it now within the system of slaughter the way I'd say this weapon probably works best but at the same time as it's doing that crazy damage you are running out of ammo just way too fast Snipers within this game, like we know for the most part, are outdone by weapons beyond their archetype or act a lot like them, like the Clairvoyance, an assault rifle which acts a lot like a sniper but is backed by a ton of ammo. You would have to take this over the Sandhawk for any reason you'd want a sniper for, especially one that acts like this. I mean, the way this game plays out, and I've said this before, the standard sniper doesn't work as consistently as you'd want. And it's why unless it's something super unique and they offer something you can't leave behind, they don't make the cut. And this is one of those snipers in my opinion. Yes it deals great damage and it deals it fast, but for me they are just more consistent snipers in this game for their everyday usage. The Krakato in my opinion right now being my favourite. And the Mayhem 10 variant I have of that has a standard damage of over 30k. Although not as powerful on paper as this, it outdoes it though in every way when used side by side it just works a lot better. Now if you set up to support this Sandhawk it could be a great weapon, it could certainly perform, but I don't see the point or need to do so when there are just better options out there. So yeah, although this weapon doesn't quite make the cut, I do see it has potential that's for sure. Kinda disappointed with it though I expected more I won't lie, but for me and the way I play this game and the way I like to use snipers, there are just so many others in the game right now that would take over this. So yeah guys, a little bit of a letdown, but I know this will have a use for somebody out there. On that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.